on guys inferno here back with another dice to wars 8 empires video and today i'm going to be starting off empire mode with which character you may ask well i'm going to show you here in just a second and but but yeah before we get to the empire mode i promised in the last video i was going to show off the new characters i created but i forgot about it so i'm going to show you before we actually get started here but the person I'm going to be doing Empire Mode with is this guy right here, Su Fan, who, who I customized to have Jun Yu's new moveset. I thought it would fit him a little bit better anyway, so yeah, I cha changed it to Jun Yu's moveset, and there we go. But the new character I wanted to show you that I created since the last time I showed these off, created Mai Su, another member of the Su family, Nitsu. Then Sensu, who is the who is the father of all these of all these Su Su children. Then Lian Shu, his wife. Then Jian Shu, another child of the Su family. Then my own my own creation of Gao Shun, because let's face it, Gao Shun's awesome. I I'm surprised he hasn't gotten gotten a unique like a unique officer yet hopefully they give him one of dynasty warriors not but for now this this will suffice then i have my own creation of jian jian nanfang uh that's who is jia chong's daughter no i thought i thought it'd be interesting to see to try and create her so i just thought why not you know i just try to make her look evil as possible with the black clothes and oops you know the black clothes, the evil face, the makeup, all that. So yeah, I thought, you know, I thought, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not go ahead and try and make this character? And of course, she has her daddy's move set. And then we have, and then have Ma Tung, who also, who I also thought should have a playable appearance. Hopefully, they'll add him in Dynasty Warriors Nine or in another installment. So I gave so I gave him the Pike move set, along with a few uh, along with along with some of its musos and one of Eugene U, Eugene's musos, which is his first one. Yeah, as you can see there. And then finally, the last one I have Hua Xiong, because let's face it, back in Lu Bu's his hypothetical route, he was a he was a badass, so I thought, I thought, why not create a character of him? And he uses Eugen's move set, along with one of the one of the Pike Musos here, as you can see. So yeah, there you go. And I pretty much replaced them, so you'll see them in in Empire mode instead of the regular generic versions. But anyways, but anyways, enough about that. It's time to get on to Empire mode. And this time I'm going to be doing the alliance against Dong Zhuo since I did the Yellow Turban Rebellion back when I played Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires. And I'm going to be doing this on hard mode. As you can see, I, I've already played a little bit. I have, I have like over 6,000 bonus points. I haven't actually finished Empire mode yet though. But I'm not going to be using any of this stuff right now. I could, but... It'll spoil, it'll, it'll spoil the fun of actually trying to get everything, but I will use some of these on later playthroughs. Okay, so, okay, hard mode, leave officer depths on. And the reason I'm choosing hard mode is because normal difficulties seem too easy, so I want, I want a little bit of a challenge, so that's why I'm picking hard mode. So, we are going to pick character I want to do this do this with Sufan. Alright, let's go.
私もまた民を導く光となりましょう。Alright, so here we are. And and one thing you might notice here is you is if you you can select the music that you wanna that you want to play, like in between battles. Well I mean well well while you're in the strategy phase anyway, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool because we didn't have that option before, so it's a pretty it's a pretty nice add-on. Let's see, I will choose Yeah, that seems like a good one. Okay, and as you may notice, since I've done some of the since I've done some of the Empire mode already, some of the tutorials are not here. They don't show up like they usually would if you're starting the game up for the first time. So I'll just show you where you can find those. Let's see where. Here we go. You go under system here and then you can find tutorials. So the first one you would see first you would see this one which says oops says free officers and vagabonds are officers that do not belong to any kingdom they can move freely between regions but have no fixed income and are in a very weak position overall. Your initial goal to be should serve a kingdom of your choice or raise banner and start a new kingdom of your own. And then You see, use persuade and recruit to gather companions. Being able to cross the entire land while growing your numbers is an option only available to free officers and vagabonds. Actively comp completing quests will not only provide you with merit, with resources and weapons as rewards, but also provide you with merits. And use draft, raise money, and acquire materials to increase your resources. All right, so what I'm probably looking to do is serve a kingdom, but not the kingdom I'm in. So, what I probably want to do is let's look at the territory info. So I am right here. No, actually, no, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. And what I probably want to end up doing is serving someone. Someone like Sao Tsao or Ma Tung or maybe even uh, Meng Hua. Maybe. That, it depends. But we'll we'll decide we'll decide all that later. But since I since I practically have no resources, we should go ahead and we should go ahead and get some of those so I could I could do a quest here oh and I and I have and I see two of my created characters here let's see Zhang Yu and Sun Jing actually I, I don't I don't know if that's the generic one or the one I've created it could be either or I should probably change his name Or maybe just replace Sun Jing with him altogether. I don't know. So we could do a quest. Do a quest. And do this and gain 1200 troops and 300 gold. Do this and gain 600 gold. Or that one and gain 600 gold. Hmm. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and do a short quest. And I'll go ahead and do this one since I kind of want Zhang Yi, I kind of want Zhang Yi to join us. And what, and what I'm probably aiming for here is to serve a kingdom and in the end, since my care, since I created this character to be, to be evil. You know, so what we'll probably do is serve a kingdom and then we'll 
go ahead and overtake overtake the kingdom and then we'll go ahead and unite the land ourselves. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Okay, so so before I go on any further I just want to talk about the stratagems. So so pretty much you can set your own stratagems here. And if you notice and if you notice down here where it says stratagem and there's those four bars. Those are the ones you start off with. You can gain more as you level up. And the fee and the fee function here, you that determines how many bars it uses. And there's also a time until the next use, which is the time it has to recharge. So if I use this, it'll take 30 seconds, of course, to recharge. But we'll get more into that as we go in, get into the battle. Let's see, we have myself and Zhang Yu. Okay, our weapons. Let's see, a sword and our iron cane. I don't want that sword, but it'll have to do for now. And I almost forgot. I'll have to customize the saddle for later. But for now, let's begin the battle. Okay. We'll go with this one. That's, that's fine. We'll go with this one. Okay, so we have to... Oh, almost got discovered there. So we have to get past these areas without being discovered. Okay, so he's going that way. Good. Good. We'll go around. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, good. Go around this way. Okay, he's going that way. Good. And we'll... And that was pretty easy. Alright, it's time for you to die. Man, that was actually a pretty easy mission. Alright, by doing that, we increase our friendship by a lot. So the friendship reigns in this game are from F to A this time. At least, at least to my knowledge it is. It used to be from E to S in Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and recruit Zhang Yu. It should be easy now since our friendship rating with him is, is decent. And obtain the title Silent Blade. And Calm Trader, an intellectual with two distinct faces. It's pretty cool. And we gain Poison Mist. Awesome. Yeah. What I'm aiming for is to try and compete in the campaign against Dong Zhuo. I wonder if I have to join join a kingdom to do that like join South Sao or something oh I can actually do this interesting interesting do I dare try it out though yeah I'll wait for a second I wanna I wanna go ahead and recruit Zhang Yu right now Okay, so that is my that is my created character. So we might try and recruit him for the time being. But for now I'm going to recruit Jung Yu. All right, we formed a vagabond unit. Oh, 
Uh, do I really want to do this though? It's 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 an interesting It's interesting to do. I could even do this. I mean, since my character is supposed to be an evil character, it would make sense. Uh, but first before I do that, let's go ahead and buy some stuff from the blacksmith. I uh, will buy an earthworm. Uh, I can't buy anything from the academy, and everything in the item shop is too much for me to buy right now, so we'll go ahead and skip that. But I will equip this. Oh, and there's one other thing I want to do. And one other thing I want to show you guys is from, from the settings right here, you can select the residence. You want to have, you know, change your equipment just like in the last game. You can select the banner you want to have. I'm not going to select any for this one. You select the war horse. I'm going to select Yoko. And the soldiers you want to have. I'm not going to select one for this time. And you can change the music anytime you want to. Okay, so now do I. R hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Why not? Let's try it. And there's stolen stolen materials. Yeah, I'm a thief. I'm a thief now. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can try and get another battle. I really want to know though how like if if even if i'm not in the kingdom can i still participate in the dungeon war alliance because i really want to do that ah well for now let's go ahead and participate in another battle and we will go ahead and do it with that's not a bad reward I'll go ahead and do it with Leonju, but let me see what the other ones were. It's not bad for that amount of gold, but I will go ahead and do it with Leonju. And I think we'll probably go ahead and end the episode of this battle. Let's put on Poison Mist. Make sure we got both our weapons on. Okay, we got got our custom horse Yoko on. And we are ready to begin. Yeah, we'll go with that. Down. Alright, I'm just going to use a stratagem for this one. So you can use your stratagems by pressing the R2 button. I don't know about the Xbox One controls, but for the PlayStation controls, you can press the, sorry, the R2 button and then press up, up on the stratagem you select. So I'm going to use Poison Mist. Yeah. 
けば脆いものはいや襲いかかれおっ、you're not dead yet? There we go. Alright, so another one. And I am really liking Jun Yu's moveset. Like, it, it looks flashy, and it's, and it's really fun to play. Actually hurt a little bit. Nah, I guess we weren't fast enough. Ah. Let's try and get the other two bases before he gets here. And I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Ah, okay, never mind. Alright, I might as well just go ahead and get and defeat him now. And right into a storm rush. Very nice. Okay, so they do actually drop some items. Not a lot, but some. Yeah, how about some of that? Alright, and that should do it. Alright, I should be able to recruit her now. Okay, attain the title Desperado. Awesome. Okay. Okay, Kingdom Star invasion across the land. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Hmm. No, I'm actually interested in something. Are they invading Luoyang? Oh, they are. So if they take Luoyang, we might not even get the Dongzhua scenario. Nah, either way, it doesn't matter to me. Um, let's... Oh, right. I, I wanted to see if I can recruit her. I should be able to do it now. Alright. Alright, and that'll be and that'll be the end of this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, see ya.